Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to our Calmlands farm here with the Case IH Dairy Farm. I'm going to run down here and check this field. It's already August and we have not yet done a cut. So we're at 100% ready to harvest with a 98% yield bonus. So I think this is high time as they say to uh, cut this. I'm going to run the 460 back up to the farm and we will bring um, I don't know what tractor I want to use to cut this. Something maybe not the black stripe because we used that last episode. But maybe we use Uh, let's see, we ran the 1206 Holland Bales two episodes ago, so, uh, I bet we could mow with the H, or no, because we need, uh, PTO. Uh, how about... Let me look here. Yeah, the H doesn't have a PTO. Maybe we use this uh, 1086. This should run the mower just fine. The mower's sitting down here by the water. I never put it away from when we cut the round bales up here. So I don't hate this idea. I actually don't use this tractor as much as I should. It has three and a half hours on it, but it's a it's a perfect size tractor for this farm. I should use it more often. So we'll go ahead out to the road here, try to make it look official. Beans are looking nice. Actually, let's hop out and take a look at the beans real quick. Yield bonus is only seventy one. Because it's only once fertilized? Really? Didn't we put uh, slurry on this field? It said up here. Oh, some of it's getting 100%, and some only 50 based on probably the cedar. Because the one cedar we used had hard, solid fertilizer. Oh well. Oh man, that upper field looks like it's got weeds in it. What the heck? That doesn't make sense, didn't I? Oh, maybe I just uh, I just cultivated it, but the other one I plowed. See, sloppy, sloppy. All right, let's get this unfolded. I mean, the beans are just a sell. It's not the end of the world. Wait, what? No. There we go. I had hit the wrong button. All right, let's get rolling here. Find a gear that you like and get moving. Now. Do we want to do a headland or up and down the field? Maybe both. I think maybe we'll do a headland and then try to go up and down the field with a worker if it'll let it and then I'll run up and get either the H or the M on the tether and then we can use whichever one we don't put on the tether on the rake we'll get this mowed, tethered, and raked I know I, I know I said this one, the last time I did hay but I do realize that when you make hay, you need to leave it dry for a while, uh, but we're not playing that realistic, so I will probably just cut it, tet it, break it, bale it, kind of all in one fell swoop here. We, d we have one empty hay wagon. And I'm guessing from the size of this field, we'll probably 
and the yield being 100% bonus, we'll probably get four wagon loads. It's going to be a lot. It's, it's going to be a lot of work. Um, I don't know if I'll sell a load. We're going to have to stop in the middle. I mean, there's no way that we can just keep going because this is going to be a whoops. This is going to be a, like a multiple e episode project here. There, there's no way that we get this all done. Um, man, this thing is terrible. The heck? I guess there was uh, some uneven ground there. Okay. Well, we made it, barely. Maybe we should have used the 5088. I don't know. I don't want to use it for every job. I feel like I use it all the time. Alright, let's see what the uh, worker thinks of this. That's an interesting angle it decided to take, but. Alright, I'm gonna tab up to the farm. It's actually probably smart at that angle. Yeah, we'll let them go. I want. Yeah, I think I'll do the, the, since the H is already on the rake, I'll put the M on the tether. I think I can do that. It might, it might not let me. I think it's up front here. We'll try it. If not, we'll need, yeah, I think we ran into this problem before it needs Oh, there we go. Perfect. Perfecto. This is too much tether for this tractor. I understand that. But beggars can't be choosers, so we're going to run it. I don't know for the next farm that I do. I don't know quite what I'll pick, but I've been thinking about maybe doing uh, the white version of this, like the whatever, it wasn't called a test model, but you guys know what I mean, the show model, floor model. Since somebody took the time to model that and put it in the game, I kind of feel obligated to use it. Wow, this is... Uh, quite a great working with so we'll get it going once we get some good progress made I will head up and get the rake get it going to the mower is going to slow us down because it can only go so fast but we'll make do Look at that. Precision. Precision farming right past each other. This is pretty cool. Pretty sweet setup. Since it's on a hillside, it's going to make that look all crooked. I should just should just screenshot it and then adjust it. <laughs> adjust it in uh, photo editing software. Make that the... thumbnail for the episode. I have to admit that uh, man, figuring out thumbnails is a bigger part of this job than I anticipated because sometimes the harder I work on a thumbnail, it doesn't seem to matter. And other times I just go with some sort of stock image from the recording and end up getting more views and so I've been paying attention to some people that give advice on these sort of things and they say you, know, you can't look at it as 
just the thumbnail or just the title it has it has to be a package and you have to consider you know the overall message or the meaning of the video so like for me making farm sim content it's a little bit different than maybe people making real life content something but there needs to be like some reason for somebody who gets recommended the video to click so it has to look like it's going to be funny or like they're going to learn something or there's there's a, a part to the story like if I just say tedding the lower field okay some of you that have been watching the series for a while know what I mean by the lower field and maybe you're interested in that because you saw me plant this lower field and you want to see what it looks like now that I'm tedding it but somebody else just sees oh farm sim I don't care about that so I'm not going to click on it so packaging things so that it gets to the right audience is a big a big deal you don't just want honestly you don't just want views right like people think oh you want lots of views on your YouTube channel well you do but you want the right views you want the people who are going to enjoy they're gonna watch they're gonna like they're gonna comment if I get a video that gets higher views and it gets out there into the world beyond the farm sim community people start disliking it they're like well I thought this was gonna be a farming video or they'll say well I want I can't get that you know whatever mod on console so I'm mad and I'm gonna downvote your video stuff like that it's it can be very uh, disheartening to say the least now do I keep the curve or do I keep going straight uh, I think I keep the curve because we're gonna have to deal with that little whatever that is up there I think when I make it back down here I might run up and grab the rake just to do a little bit of that while we're still live. Why did that go so... Oh, I guess it widens out here at the end. Drunken plow. The guy that plowed this field was a real idiot. It was also me. I just I was sitting here thinking I feel like I already made hay on this field and it's because I did the time when I put the field in so it was just meadow grass this is our first harvest of our planted grass on here and I don't think we're going to need a second cut but we might want to do a little bit for silage I don't know I haven't checked but they're taking Cows are taking almost 10,000 silage every day. So, while it is nice to have 20 or 220,000 in the silo, it, it goes faster than you might think. That's not even accounting for if I decide to take some over across the street for the heifers okay I'm going to swing this around and back it up a little actually I'm gonna put it up here uh, no the mower that should be fine I'll leave it right here All right, I'm gonna tab up to the H ah. Here we go. <coughs> Sorry about that. I tried to catch that cough before uh, it came out, but we'll do a little bit of raking here. 
and then uh, I don't think we'll bail on this episode but we'll get everything show you the process get it all ready to go and we can bail on the next one This is just, I know I, I say it every time I run it, but this is a perfect setup. This rake and, and H combo, this works for me. Oh, for some reason, I thought uh, I was wrong. I'm going to rake the outside in. like this it's gonna be a little bit of a mess down here where it's kind of a headwind but still should do it listen to that engine Shit it 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 Boy, we're missing some valuable uh valuable light green out here. Hay is the color of money for a reason, folks. Worker's doing a good job. Hopefully it'll be turned around and headed back by the time I get down there. doesn't help that that tractor for whatever reason needs you to put it into gear three times I think this is going to be a very delightful amount of bales So once we get to the end here, we'll spin it around and go back around the headland on the other side. So we'll have a nice big headland windrow. Now that tractor is going to stop mowing here in a minute. And uh, we'll have to probably do this triangle up here manually, which is fine with me. I can do that, no problem. But then we'll have to get the little bits of mowed, not tetted in the middle. And then we can we can rake the whole thing and we'll just have nice neat windrows to clean up when we come through with the baler all right this this half of the battle is over go ahead and give it a nice spin around there and back we go this way so this is going to give us a real nice thick windrow for the baler. That's going to crank out bales like crazy. You love to see it. What is that mower tractor doing? There must just be a little skinny patch down there. whatever it's fine with me I could definitely have extended this field over into that area um, but I I think we have plenty of ground cultivated honestly 
And I know for those of you that have been around since the start, you know I was talking about putting a, an orchard back here. That's what I wanted to do, but I never really got the right mod for what I wanted, and I didn't want to put something in that was just basically fill up water and bring it over here. Um, I wanted something that would allow us to use the manure that we actually don't have. You know, it, it just... It, it didn't pan out. That part of it, a lot about the save worked exactly how I wanted. And I'm grateful for those things. But there were just a few that didn't quite. And the orchard was one. The location of our garage, repair garage, was another. Those things just didn't quite go how I wanted. Um, even the where we're keeping the heifers, that, that wasn't meant to be part of our farm. When I set that up, the original idea was that we were going to role play that that was a neighbor's farm and we were just leasing ground from them because I wanted to expand this farm on this side a little more modestly. But then I ended up, I don't know, I just, I got ahead of myself in one or two episodes and then it was already part of the storyline and there was nothing I could do about it. But I like the way this farm took shape, honestly, I, I, I do. And I, the Angus cows that I had, the black black Angus cows I had were a little bit of a waste of money but all things considered I think it went really well I love that of all three tractors we've had here this H pulling the rake is the one that's like powering through this hillside still going eight miles oh seven eight miles an hour that's pretty impressive even though it's just pulling a light rake so Alrighty, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I appreciate you guys continuing to support the channel. I will obviously finish up the mowing and tedding and raking. And when you guys are, when we're back, it'll probably be bailing. I might show you a little bit more of this grass work, but I like it. I have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks, fellas. Bye for now.